Hi there, I'm Aaron. I'm the new host of Sky Teach Channel. Let me tell you a little about myself. I'm a musician, an actor, an adventurer, and most importantly for you, a teacher. Today I'll be sharing a couple of my favorite speaking activities for young learners. The first one is Poop Deck. I actually learned this game at summer camp. It's super fun, it's got a silly name, and it's infinitely adaptable for young learners. So the way to play this game, ask your students to line up along one side of the room. You shout, poop deck, and all the kids go <laughs> You say, crew, where are you? And you can ask them to use their pirate voice, and they say, we're on the poop deck. Then you say, crew, main deck, and they go, and you say, crew, where are you? And they say, we're on the main deck. There are a lot of ways you can adapt this game. First off, the last kid to cross the line can be the new leader. So you say, Paulina, come here, come here, come here, come here. Say, poop deck. And she'll go, poop deck. Anyone run, 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 run. And then the last kid who comes, you say, Vika. Come here, come here, come here, come here, Vika. Say, poop deck. Poop deck. And you can do that for as long as the kids are interested in that. Now, you're thinking right now, Aaron, why do you have to be so damn wonderful? Now, you're thinking right now, Aaron, I don't have any pirate lessons. I don't teach pirate children. Well, here's where the adaptation comes on. Pretend you're teaching rooms in a house. You can do, instead of poop deck, living room. Instead of main deck, you do kitchen. And instead of quarter deck or whatever I said, you can do bedroom. So you say, bedroom. And I'll you say, crew, where are you? And they say, we're in the bedroom. Kitchen! What are you doing in the kitchen? Making lunch. And living room. What are you doing in the living room? Watching TV. So, this game goes as much, does as much. This game, play it however you want. Thank you, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Another way to adapt this game for older learners is if you have them run to the living room, you can say, what do you see in the living room? Um, I see a TV. What do you see in the living room? I see a couch. Great, run to the kitchen. What do you see in the kitchen? I see a refrigerator. I see a table. This can be played with a variety of beginner topics and can be played with these variations. I don't know where you're gonna put the... Next up is role play. Kids get super excited when you get a costume box. Now, I actually learned this in my German class in high school where I would regularly dress up like a German supermodel. Hello, ich heiße Victoria. Now, while my experience with this is a bit ridiculous, it can be super effective if you do it in your English classroom. Give kids a hat or another hat, a wig, some glasses, and they'll have a total blast with it. The trick for this is giving kids a definite objective. You can't just say, you're a bumblebee. Talk. Because they'll look at you like that. Say, you're a bumblebee. What color are those flowers? What do you see? Where are the trees? What color is that grass? Giving prompts like that will help your kids use a role play effectively. Next up is called, Who Am I? If you've seen the movie Inglorious Bastards, then you have an idea of how this game works. Now, while we usually play this game with my friends when we're smoking and drinking, I don't recommend that with young learners. But, like the rest of the activities in this video, it's infinitely adaptable to young learners. Now, to structure the playing of this game, you can have them sitting in pairs, or if you have a class that can handle it that's maybe a little bit older, you can have them move around the classroom asking, do I have brown hair? Do I have glasses? Do I have a beard? Am I old? Things like that. If you do questions that aren't yes or no, the game doesn't go as well and isn't really as fun. Now, you can adapt this game in a million ways. The last game I'm going to share is a game I learned in Mongolia, of all places. It's called Atom Molecule. Atom Molecule. It's played by getting students into groups. So when I learned this game, an animal was assigned to a number, let's say one to five. So one is dog, two is horse, three is camel, four is cow, and five is elephant. So the way to play this game, the leader, the teacher, that's you, shouts the name of one of the animals. For example, if you say horse, <laughs> students get into groups of two and go, 
For added fun, I like to have students stand in the shape of the animal to create an illusion of it, and also sometimes make animal sounds. This can get out of hand, so be careful. <laughs> now, to turn this from a vocabulary game into a speaking game, you can ask questions and prompts like we talked about in Poop Deck. So say, what are you riding? And students answer, we're riding a camel. Where does this animal live? In the jungle. Hello? Things like that. Prepare your questions in advance, but again, this game has tons of applications. An adaptation I regularly do with this game is with modes of transportation. You can have bike, motorcycle, car, metro, train, plane. Another one you can do, again, is rooms of a house. So, toilet, kitchen, living room, bedroom. Um, there's probably a better order, but you understand. Is that all right? <laughs> that was the laziest thing ever. You get it! <laughs> I've chosen these games because I think they're super fun and super adaptable. Now, there are a million and one ways, and I'm sure you teachers in Russia have your own games or adaptations of these games that I've played in the US. Feel free to share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to become a part of our great team of online teachers here at Skying. See you next time. <laughs> oh, I can do this all day. Like, just give me a camera and people to laugh at my jokes. Yeah. Um, also, will you come? Will you come? Will you do this with me? Horse. So you run and find a friend. Okay. <laughs> today, I'll be sharing a couple of my fav. Today, no. I'll be stumbling over my words the entire day. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Sky Teach Channel. I'm going to try that again. The easiest. <laughs> Five or four pictures? English is my first language, guys. <laughs> okay.